Hi, I'm Lashana Lynch, and this is my life-changing interview for the Sunday Times style. Welcome. People probably expect me to say something else, but I genuinely loved Matilda. All of those stories that were magical, where children could be magical as well, like Matilda, were really helpful for me because I felt magical myself. I was looking at things to try and move them with my eyes. For me to read a book as a child and then be a part of this really immersive, dreamy, supernatural world was special. Oh, I will forever look up to my primary school teacher and head teacher and singing teacher and life teacher, Miss Amable. She is honestly one of the best humans ever. I was able to connect with her just before I announced Matilda. So I don't think she actually knows that I've got it yet, but I spoke to her over the phone and she just told me all about what I was like as a child and how I was like a little bit shy, but like also confident and love to sing and love to like make people happy. And it was nice to hear that from a teacher's perspective. The first actual time I got a lead role was in primary school. It was Pinocchio. And I feel really good about that because Pinocchio was a boy and then suddenly she was a girl. And I felt great that I was able to do it. It felt really good being a puppet. <laughs> a little black girl puppet from West London. It was fabulous. <laughs> there was just this one time when I was at ballet class and the teacher who was a white woman um, was teaching the class who were all white girls. And then there was me who was a black girl who had a different shape, who had curves at eight years old, a backside at eight years old. And um, she didn't get it. She made everyone stand straight and I was standing straight and she didn't see it. She thought I was slouching. And I knew in the back of my mind that it's just because I've got backside and you're not understanding it. <laughs> so I went back home and told my mom that I didn't want to go to ballet class anymore. And I didn't explain why. I just knew that this person in the room doesn't appreciate what I come with naturally. And I spent my whole life from about eight years old um, exiting spaces that don't appreciate me. And I can actually thank that experience and that teacher that didn't see who I was um, for sitting here talking to you about this. I just got hot, man, thinking about it. <laughs> All I can say is Gabby McLean, Gabby McLean, Gabby McLean. Our trainer for the Woman King is a badass every single minute of the day. I stretched my mind and my body to places I have never been before, and I've done stunts before, I have exercised before, and I thought I was, was ready, and I absolutely was not. There were some tough moves. I've had to flip a couple of men <laughs> over the last few months, and I'm proud to say that I did all of my stunts. So when you see it, please have sympathy because it hurt. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> so much. <laughs> she taught me what 100% was, actually. I thought I knew it before, and then I met Viola Davis. Working with Viola Davis was genuinely like receiving a masterclass. And at days when myself and the rest of the cast would be like, oh my gosh, we're so tired. Like, she would rock, rock up and just bang out like three more takes and we'd be like, well, if Viola's doing it, how dare we show up and give less than 100%. I had so many jobs before and whilst being an actress, I worked at shoe shops. I worked in clothes shops. I worked for a courtesy car company where I'd drive cars around England. I worked for the NHS for loads of different clinics. Doing that whilst holding scripts under your desk, trying to like learn them and like pop into the toilet to have quick conversations with your agent was amazing. It's really, it's strange actually how actors are able to stay so focused and so determined whilst putting food on the table. Ooh, when I found out I got Maria Rambo and Captain Marvel, I was in LA with two friends of mine at dinner and I just had the test that day. My phone rang and we all looked at the phone and we were a bit like, well, that can't be the call because I was just in there a few hours ago, so that doesn't make sense. 
I answered it and we all just like ran outside and just like screamed together. And I remember putting it on speaker and getting my team to repeat it three to four times, just in case I'd heard it wrong. I hung up and then we went to CVS and got like, you know, bin bags and like cotton wool pads, I think. <laughs> and my friend, I remember my friend saying, why do we need this now? There's loads of ways that my life is gonna change next. There's some really, cool and interesting, exciting things in the pipeline that I'm excited to share with the world and my culture. And just personally, a lot of growth has come through all the roles that I've done and even, you know, speaking in wonderful environments like this to be able to share my experience with the world because I needed that when I was growing up. So I'm glad I can give that to other people. Thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to the Sunday Time Style YouTube channel where you can see more fantastic videos like this.